Hi everyone, Tommy here. So today we're going to make a review of the Waterfly Hiking Fanny Pack. So before we get started, a full disclaimer, uh, Waterfly did send me this fanny pack for me to review. Um, I had this fanny pack for two months uh, now in my possession and after uh, agreeing in an email, previous email before they sent it to me, uh, I agreed that I would make an honest review on their product. So uh, uh, there will be a link in the description for everything you see in this video. So now let's have a look at the features that this uh, pack offers and uh, how much you can actually carry in it. So first thing I'd like to mention is like I was really amazed of how much stuff you can put in this little hip ba bag. So uh, uh, there is there is a lot of pockets in this bag. So we'll go from uh, the front towards the back and uh, have a look at what's in there. So I got this one fully loaded. Uh, I like to do photography. So uh, when I go out, I, like that's a nice uh, compact system to be able to go out with your DSLR on your neck and then all the features you need while you're out in the, in the bush to, to take pictures. So first pocket, I keep my extra batteries in there. Um, there is another zipper here and that allows you to remove that first pocket if you don't want it. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's a Velcro as well that keeps it in place if you do want it. So there's no flapping around. In the next pocket here, you can have your snacks. And then it's, it's a pretty roomy pocket. It goes the full width of the bag. The next one over is usually where I keep my safety features. So I've got a, a flare and I've got a bear banger uh, system here. Uh, so, and I always carry as well my uh, bear spray. But, uh, and then I've got a, a little whistle as well. And that's for this pocket. And then we get into the bigger compartments. So in those ones here, uh, I've got wallet. So all my information and cards and stuff is in there. I do have like a little lens cleaner for my camera. Uh, in these days we need the hand sanitizer. I got my uh, little pocket knife here. And there's a little attachment here for uh, keys. So that's where I keep my fob. Uh, there's also inside here you can see there's two uh, large pockets and that's where I usually keep uh, an extra blanket uh, for like emergencies and stuff so I'll put that here and then the last pocket here at the back uh, that's where I keep my lens so I've got two prime lens in there I also have my telephoto lens here and uh, kind of GoPro style camera uh, knockoff. So that's basically what I've got in there here. And then once again, there is another pocket so you can keep your iPhone in there or your backup phone on there. Uh, and, and that's basically all this bag can carry. So really amazing in the amount of room that we have in this uh, waste bag. Now let's have a look at the construction and the pros and cons. So let's start with a few pros. Uh, so first of all the size is amazing and it's actually really comfortable because it, the mesh here allows some uh, for moisture to escape and there's a padding as well so it actually feels comfortable. Um, it is also $25 so it, it's a no-brainer when it comes to a piece of gear that you want to carry a lot of stuff and you want to go uh, uh, at an affordable price, at $25 you can't go wrong. It also comes in five different colors. So there is uh, this kind of teal kind of color, there's a navy blue, there is a black, a gray and a kind of fuchsia pink uh, that you can choose from. The nylon uh, is very thick, uh, the construction seems uh, really good actually. Uh, the, the, the seams and the, the sewing patterns are uh, looking very nice. So another cool feature that I like about this bag is the clip. Uh, it's very easy to use and pretty sturdy. Uh, like it's locked pretty good. And the width of the harness that attached to the clip is very comfortable. It doesn't dig into your side, especially like when I have it loaded like you just saw. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. The adjustment is really easy to do uh, both ways and it keeps its position once you, you set it in place. Um, 
I'm about medium size, like I, I wear 34 jeans and this fits me very well. I, I usually have that much left over, so you could go probably into the 40s with this uh, pack. And then it also fits my little five-year-old. So it, it can constrict to so small that if you wanna use a first bag for your kids to go around, this is a, a cool system to start uh, having your kids carry some of their snacks and extra little bits when they go out in the woods. Now let's look at a bit of the quants that I, I found. So on their website, Waterfly uh, mentioned that this is uh, water resistant with an emphasis on splash resistant. Uh, none of the seams are taped. Uh, therefore, I would not take this uh, with uh, electronics or, or the such in it on a rainy day. Um, in my case, I'm in the Pacific Northwest, so therefore I'll be using this pack uh, only when on a sunny day when I want to make sure that nothing gets damaged inside because uh, it will take water in. Uh, the, the fabric is waterproof but all the seams everywhere and all the zippers none of them are waterproof and you can see there is a lot of zippers. Another thing uh, I, I would have liked from a uh, waterfly is uh, using something else than those zippers because uh, by now you probably heard it it jingles a lot like uh, going with a plastic kind of uh, type zippers or YKK zipper would have been a little better this after a while kind of gets annoying so in conclusion uh, overall this is a good pack that you can use either in town or uh, while hiking it fits pretty much anybody in your family uh, regarding to size of the belt uh, and for the price tag it's like I mentioned before it's a no-brainer so uh, like I mentioned, there's going to be a link in the description to uh, this little guy here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and give me a thumbs up. And until next time, I wish you well.